Uh, good evening, everybody, and a very warm welcome to you all. Uh, my name is Mr. Ben Art, the head teacher of the morning school, and it's an honour and privilege to lead our wonderful school. Through our high expectations and caring approach, I believe we've built something really special at our school, and I'm delighted to have the opportunity to share it with you tonight. Our exceptional staff and pupils are our biggest strength, and the bond between us is strong. Our teachers are warm, supportive and kind. They have high standards and encourage our pupils to be the best person they can be every lesson, every day. Our school is built on traditional values where mutual respect is developed between pupils and staff. The Rolling Schoolway is the foundation of our school and is summarised through our three core character values of being caring, determined and reflective. We strive to demonstrate these values in everything we do making the morning school a truly special place to be. Pupils have a tutor session every morning where they learn about what the morning school way means. In these sessions, we develop our pupils' character. We give them opportunities to learn about and demonstrate resilience, determination, and to be caring. We teach them to be kind to each other, valuing and celebrating our commonalities and our differences. We encourage them to be reflective so they can learn from their mistakes never ever giving up and strive to be better in all that they do. And, and ensuring our pupils are happy and smiling are so important to us. We're delighted that Ofsted recognised the, the, the significant work we have achieved over the last five years in implementing the highest standards of behavioural learning, personal development, teaching and leadership. Our outstanding judgments in these areas make us one of the strongest schools in the county. This is only possible because of our incredible pupils and incredibly dedicated staff and supportive parents and carers. Bad morning school, we will never do anything just for Ofsted. I believe we're a caring family school and we're supported by a very committed governing body. We're not part of a trust, so any decisions we make are very carefully considered to ensure they are just right for our context and support our wonderful community which really is at the heart of everything that we do. We try to develop positive partnerships with our parents and carers, and I believe we deliver outstanding pastoral support for our pupils. We have a dedicated pastoral team that consists of a tutor, a non-teaching guidance manager, assistant pastoral leader, and a pastoral leader. That's for every single year group. These staff are always there to support our pupils and be that vital link between school and home. I think one of the key factors in ensuring that our pupils are successful is open communication. We make it easy for parents and carers to contact us with any issues, no matter how small. As I said before, our children's happiness is of paramount importance to us. We see school life through the, through the school as a journey together. The more we help each other, the more we communicate, the more successful our children will be. We have the highest of expectations for our pupils every lesson, every day. Enabling our pupils to achieve and exceed their potential. We have a traditional approach to teaching. We are firm but fair. Our classrooms are very calm, positive places where our pupils can flourish. Ofsted graded behaviour across the morning school is outstanding. I'd like to read you a brief quote from the report. They said that pupils' behaviour is exemplary. Pupils have extremely high expectations of themselves and each other. In class, pupils behave exceptionally well. They take great pride in their work and are eager to, eager to learn. No learning time is lost. As a result of our positive climate for learning, visitors regularly comment that our staff and pupils are happy, smiling and enjoying their learning. We benefit from a very low staff turnover, enabling us to consistently deliver great teaching year after year. We're a caring family school with over 20 staff and teaching staff and support staff choosing to send our own children to the morning school. We know we're not perfect and are a reflective organisation, valuing feedback to help us keep on getting better. In our thinking and our planning, we often ask ourselves, is this good enough for our own children? If we're not sure, we look to make a change. Always trying to deliver the best possible education experiences for all our pupils. We're really proud of our curriculum at the Morning School. We've worked hard to ensure that all pupils, regardless of background or starting point from primary school, 
experience ambitious, enriching and exciting lessons in all subjects. Through our carefully planned and resourced lessons, we aim for our pupils to experience the very best that's been said and thought in every single subject. We ensure our pupils are challenged. We teach to the top and provide expert scaffolding for all our pupils so they can help them master the ambitious content. We provide all pupils with carefully planned, beautifully presented resources. Every pupil in every subject receives a curriculum booklet with everything they need to learn for the term. These are also available on our website to enable parents and carers to discuss what we're learning in class and help them support at home. We're proud of our exciting, rich, diverse and powerful curriculum that our Year 7 pupils experience on their entry to the morning school. Our pupils gain strong qualifications both at GCSE and at Sixth Form. Last year, we were one of the top performing uh, schools in Kent for academic progress. It was truly a special moment watching our pupils' faces when they opened their envelopes and seeing the amazing grades they've achieved. Grades that will open doors for them and give them great chances in life. These grades reflect the exceptional work of our staff and pupils, enabling them to gain entry to top universities, high-level apprenticeships and careers of their choice. <coughs> These successes are a result of our great teaching close partnerships and high expectations of all that we do. We have these high expectations because we really do care about our pupils. We want them to be the best they can be. Now we're going to hear from two of our amazing sixth formers, Lily and Lacey, who are going to speak to you tonight, so I'd like to welcome the stage. Good evening. I'm a current sixth form student studying biology, psychology, biology and economics. And over the past seven years, the morning school has played a significant role in shaping me into the person I am today. My name is Lily, and as a sixth form student, I am currently studying health and social care, art and design and psychology. We are here to help you explore the next step in your child's education at the school and why it's meant so much to us. When I started in year seven, it was I was definitely nervous. Stepping over a school felt like a big leap. I didn't know what to expect. There were so many new faces, new teachers, and of course, new subjects. It was easy to feel a bit overwhelmed, but from the moment I walked through the doors, I felt supported, not just by my teachers, but by my friends and classmates too. For me, it was more about building confidence in myself. Starting at a bigger school was definitely scary at first, but by the time I finished year eight, I was brimming with confidence and excited for the next year. However, when COVID struck and we were all sent home, it was hard trying to get used to the Zoom calls with my teachers in my pyjamas but we had the constant support from our pastoral team to keep us positive through those trying times. And when it was time to move into year nine, it was tough to return to school after a year of online work and then facing the pressure of putting our GCSE subjects, which at the time felt like a major decision. By the time I reached year 11, I'd gained a great deal of confidence in myself and I was certain that continuing on to sixth form was my best decision for me. I knew that I would receive ongoing support from the teachers and staff that have been by my side since year seven. What's special about the school is the community. Whether it's playing in a sports club or having the opportunity to meet new people, you always feel like you're some big, part of something bigger. As six formers, we have been able to mentor the younger students, taking leadership roles and really being like role models in the school. It's a great feeling to be able to help, to be able to help others the same way as help when they were younger. As I look to my next steps, it is hard to summarise all of my experiences at the morning school. I have thoroughly enjoyed my time here and I have developed skills and confidence I never knew I had. This is one of the reasons why I decided to continue my education here at the Morning School Sixth Form, because of the unique international baccalaureate programme which is offered. This equips us with future ready skills preparing us for our career pathways. We have even been given the incredible opportunity to fundraise for a charitable cause, providing an education for those less fortunate to access one. We have worked tremendously hard to raise over £1,000 and presented our work in front of a board of judges, including Sir David Jason, the iconic Del Boy. I never believed I could reach where I am today, but it would not have been possible without the persistent support from the pastoral leaders and other staff members at this school. We hope you consider joining us at the morning school and experience the same incredible journey we have. Um, one of the things I like to say that academic grades are not everything. 
Um, at, at our school, we're really committed to developing people's character. We know softer skills of communication, working together in a team, developing leadership are so important for our pupils and are really highly valued by employers. We believe for our pupils to really flourish in school, they need to be happy and we need to help them become well-rounded, confident individuals. So to do that, every pupil at our school benefits from our outstanding personal development. From Year 7, they have access to a huge range of extracurricular clubs, ranging from music, performing arts, fitness, football, basketball, ecology, debating, art club and many, many more. It's compulsory for our pupils in Year 7 to take part in at least one lunchtime or after school club. They're all free of charge and we know that through doing these clubs, they'll have fun, they'll be happy, they'll make new friends and they'll start to develop their character. Our Performing Arts Department put on two amazing shows every year with over 100 pupils participating in these fantastic productions. We also have an exceptional P department who offer incredible opportunities to our children every weeknight through the, through the free clubs we offer after school. For example, cheerleading last night had 45 pupils attending. Both boys and girls sports are both extremely strong in our school and our pupils love representing the Morning School. One of my proudest moments as head teacher was watching both our boys and girls team participate and win their football final at the Gallagher Stadium over the last two years. Whenever we play matches, many of our own teachers give up their own time to watch, demonstrating that special bond I was talking about that we have with our pupils, which is part of the morning school way. Even this week, our under 16 girls football team won their first round of the Kent Cup 6-1. And yesterday, our Year 7 new football team, Year 7 boys team, really demonstrated the morning school way, showing resilience, never giving up, and coming back from 1-0 down to be SST 2-1. And they progress the next round of the Kent Cup. We love to reward our pupils, and we love to celebrate success whenever we see it, in the classroom, on the sporting field, or wherever we can give them that confidence. We celebrate and reward our fantastic pupils. We issue the Morning School Way reward points every lesson when we see great quality work or our pupils displaying our core character values of being caring, determined and reflective. Pupils are then awarded prestigious badges and proudly wear them around the school. Every term we produce a gallery of excellence which we share with parents and carers the amazing work that we, that's produced in our school every lesson. We also love to send postcards home to our pupils congratulating them on the great work they're doing. We also give them postcards to encourage the value of appreciation and they write postcards to their teachers, support staff, cleaners and caretakers, thanking them for helping them in their journey to success. I do know that starting a new secondary school can be a scary thought and we're always there to support our new year sevens in any way we can. We've really thought carefully about our transition and I think we have an exceptional transition programme in our school. We have a well-established summer school, which is extremely well attended. Again, totally free of charge and open to all pupils. The vast majority of pupils that start with us in September attend our summer school. Last year we had over 160 pupils attend. And I know from my own experience, from my own children, all the anxiety and worries about starting school in September dissipate because of the fun and friendships they make in a summer school. In the summer school, what we do is we teach them all the school way. We train them in our routines and they have fun, experiencing amazing activities, cookery, enrichment and leadership activities. When our pupils join us in Year 7, they have access to their own playground. They can go anywhere in the school, but if they'd like to just be with Year 7s, they have their own playground, which is supervised by their exceptional past reader, Mrs Platt. They also have lunch 10 minutes early, which means that they can feel really confident finding the food they would like to eat and finding the places in school where they'd like to be. We think it's so important that for our pupils to be happy, be confident and really settle confidently into our school. I'm now going to introduce you to two of our amazing Year 7s who will be a little bit nervous speaking to, speaking to you tonight after only being with us for around four weeks. But I'd like to introduce Ben and Ella to the stage. Thank you, Ben. Thank you. about the morning school, I felt a mixed amount of excitement and uncertainty. 
I wondered whether it would be a good fit for me or not. However, after attending the open evening, I just knew that this was the right school for me, and I truly hope it feels like the perfect school for all of you too. At first, when I learned about the summer school program, I was hesitant to join because it was my summer break. But looking back now, I'm so glad I participated. During summer school, we got to explore so many amazing things about the school. One of my favourite activities was with Mr Ryder. He took us down to the lake where we got to wade in the water. It was, so much, it was such a fun experience. I also enjoyed cooking class with Miss Cook, who was an incredible food tech teacher. We made a batch of six cookies, and at the end of class, we got to eat one. Summer school was not only exciting, but a fantastic opportunity to meet new friends and wonderful teachers. Even though I had all this fun, I still felt a little nervous about moving from primary to secondary school. It's a big change. On my first day, I had butterflies in my stomach, but by the second day, it felt like I'd been here for years. I've made so many long life friends thanks to the morning school and all the support they provide. This school truly is amazing. Thank you all for listening in and I hope to see you all, many of you here very soon. Um, what lovely pupils and um, what confidence it takes to get up and speak to nearly 250 uh, parents, carers and pupils. So I'm really immensely proud of um, those pupils and please do uh, see them and say thank you to them when you see them around at on your tours uh, this evening. Um, we have a grammar stream in our school and that's a well established part of the school. That helps to help pupils to be appropriately stretched and challenged. Pupils that opt not to go to grammar and choose us are well supported in the grammar stream and the academic building blocks to put in place early on, enabling people to progress to sixth form and university. I think one of the worries that we might have as parents and carers is whether we'll get into the school that we really, really want for our um, children. We have been oversubscribed over the past few years, but we'll always strive to make places available and recommend that if you'd like your son or daughter to attend at the morning school, to put us first choice and use the appeals process and waiting list if you're not successful. I'd like to finish by saying that I know how difficult this decision is for you. I think it's hard enough as parents coming to terms with the fact that our children are growing up without difficulty of choosing a school. I was in the same position as you when I was looking at school for my children. I think what I wanted for them was simple. I think it's what we want for all our children. I wanted their time at secondary school to be filled with happiness and enjoyment. I wanted them to go to a school with traditional values, where pupils behave well and, most importantly, are kind to each other. And finally, I wanted the school to be the kind of place that believes in them and will support them all the way to achieving their dreams. See my own children flourish here at the morning school. I know our school does all these things. And I know you have a fantastic evening looking around tonight. Please don't forget to come and visit us anytime on a normal school day. <laughs>